Hey everyone, welcome back to Beyond AR TV. My name is of course John and I'm joined by my girlfriend Infinity on Hannah. And today we unfortunately have the somewhat sad story I would say to talk about and that comes in the form of a member, a touring member, an ex one at this point we can officially say, of Panic at the Disco, a popular alternative band. Kenneth Harris was the member in question. He was the touring guitarist from I believe like the Too Weird cycle. 2013-ish, yeah. I would say. So he was actually pretty well known in the fandom. The fans knew him, some fans loved him, and uh, he was actually somebody that decided to take advantage of fans, it seemed. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I guess since at least around 2016, he had been uh, talking to fans, underage fans, and you know, also regular fans, but a lot of them were underage, which is obviously the problem here. Uh, he would ask them for photos and just send questionable things, like whether he was like flirting with them or whatever. Asking um, for photos, being pushy. Just being kind of inappropriate, obviously. And uh, I'm surprised this hasn't come out earlier if it's been going on for that long. And I actually myself have interacted with him on Snapchat before a few years ago. So it's, I mean, that's kind of what makes me believe what went down. Now, was he at all inappropriate yeah. in your interaction? Well, that's the, that's the thing. I can't really remember what exactly he said. Uh, I think it was after I saw them one night, I like snapped him and just said like, thanks for a great show or something. And he replied like pretty quickly. Um, I think he probably just said like, thanks so much. Um, and then maybe like XO or something like that. Something along those lines. I didn't think it was that weird at the time. I think I was like 18. The reason I ask you that is because I think it obviously kind of serves as a precursor for what we're gonna yeah. talk about. It shows that yes, Kenneth was talking to fans actively on Snapchat. Also, as recently as June of this year, we have a screenshot. Yeah, there was one from Instagram. So both Snapchat and Instagram. I haven't seen anything on Twitter because no. that's more public, but right. definitely in DMs on Snapchat and Instagram, there's been quite a few people coming out about this. Right, and we actually have an exclusive statement today from the first victim that really broke the story. It's a girl named Ashley. I was talking with her in the Twitter DMs and asked for a written statement, and we'll get to that momentarily. But first, I will share you the tweet that kind of started it all. It was a couple of tweets, actually. Ashley tweeted out saying, I really do love Panic at the Disco, but uh, Kenneth Harris needs to be called out. So here's a thread about my experience with him. April 20th, 2016, this was the first day I ever snapped him. I sent him a picture of me with the stupid dog filter, thinking he wouldn't even reply, but boy, did he. He went on about how cute I was and asked me to send more selfies, which I obviously did, and he sent a few back. Fast forward about a week later, my friend and I had tickets to see Panic Live, fifth row from the stage. I snapped Kenny and asked him if he could throw me a guitar pick since we were so close to the stage. He agreed, but only if I'd send him a quote unquote pick with a wink face first. Me being the dumb 16 year old that I was at the time, asked him quote unquote, what kind of pick? Hoping he just wanted another selfie. Not that that's any better, but no. He replies back, surprise me, kissing faces and winks. So my dumbass 16 year old self decided to play along and go, if I send you a picture now, you'll forget about me by the time of the concert in July. Needless to say, this conversation kept up and Kenny just kept kind of pushing her and saying, you know, please send pictures, send me pictures. And while Ashley in particular never did, there probably are some victims out there that actually did or maybe just continue to feel harassed. And as you can scroll through this thread and see, Ashley actually started out pointing out some of the people that actually sent in some of their DMs saying, you know, I didn't want Panic to get in trouble. They were my yeah. favorite band, everything like that. And it just really sucks to see somebody like that stepping in. I even tweeted about this recently because I know that there's people like Kenny out there. And to me, it's clear that this isn't just a misrepresentation of him, it doesn't seem. And while I'm not gonna go out, and some people I feel like are gonna say like rapist or everything like this. No. There are there are some very uh, bad signs here. It's still Omens. wrong. Right. You know, he has a wife, he has a kid. Um, and he's in his 30s. And honestly, when I first read some of the first screenshots, I was like, how could this even be real? Not like to say I didn't think it was real, but just like, how could he be so stupid? How could you act like that, knowing how easy it is for this stuff to get out there? Like, there goes your career, basically. Right. I mean, I just don't see why he would continue to do this for years and just manipulate fans like that, especially the younger ones. It's just gross. And 
I just, I don't even know what to say. Like, it, it sucks. There's no defense for that. It's one of those things where I do feel like he got what he deserved in the sense that he's been kicked out of the band. You know, as far it, as we know, yeah. Yes, and Panic tweeted out saying that he's no longer going to be touring with them. He's no longer playing with us. And that was relatively swift justice in terms of him being removed from the band. But let's actually read Ashley the victim's statement that she sent to me. As a 16-year-old girl who had the opportunity to get attention from a member of one of her all-time favorite bands, I was torn on what to do with the situation at the time. On one hand, you know it's wrong. You know a grown man constantly asking you to send pictures of yourself is wrong, and you know he can't possibly be asking with good intentions. On the other hand, when it comes to a member of your favorite band, a band you have looked up to and admired for years, a band who has had such a huge impact on your life saying, quote unquote, no, really isn't an option. Though I never sent him the photos he constantly asked for, I got extremely close to doing so, and that is just not okay. I wanna pause before I finish reading the statement because I think just right there, you can see kind of the troubling, pestering attitude that it seems like Kenneth had. He's like guilting them into it, and right. they feel bad. They know it's wrong. They know they shouldn't be doing that, but you know, when you get attention from somebody you look up to, it's like, wow, like this is my chance. It's like a moral dilemma almost yeah. for somebody who is underage, inexperienced, don't exactly know like what to do with what's being thrown at them. And this person in question now, Ashley, is now of age, 18 years old, but obviously this occurred when she had just turned 16, mm -hmm. which, is crazy to think about somebody just pestering a 16 year old like that, especially in a kind of public setting like Snapchat where screenshots are taken yeah. and it's, it's really easy to like expose that stuff. Right, and the Instagram DM that we actually did see and everything like that, there were some troubling things in there. The Instagram message in particular, the one where it was talking about the whole come inside me and the emojis back and forth. <laughs> I mean- It was very explicit, but apparently, I mean, that one was between somebody two about adults, it, okay. but right. still it's kind of weird that doesn't make him look any better, doesn't no. help his case. It reminds me of the Shay Carl situation yes. where he was just unbelievably saying all of these things and he was married with, just you know, so many kids, things. filthy yeah. things. And I think that this is almost a way for people like that to just get out pin up things and yeah. to be in such a public place and to use your official account like that especially as like, an abuse of power some people were saying oh they're fake screenshots like i don't think and his so. snapchat was famously I, hacked and all of these I things i mean maybe it was hacked but like but come on there's too many stories and like i said myself i've talked to him on snapchat he replies to people like that just kind of shows that you know the door is capable. open the door yeah. is open and for that to be possible and i i mean especially if the band kind of kicked him I feel like they're probably investigating it. And honestly, I was thinking about this earlier. Just imagine how awkward that like confrontation was probably last night after yeah. they played the they just, Radio yeah. Festival. They just played last night, his last ever performance with the band and then getting off stage and then basically- Probably being asked about that from somebody and then they'll probably turn to him and be like, is this true? Like, does he say yes? Does he say no? What does he I say? I wonder. Yeah, and basically it's like, you know, he got sent home and now oh, what's he wait. going to do? Go home to- What are you gonna tell your wife? Yeah, what do you tell your wife? And your child who is a couple years old is going to yeah, so possibly sad. now suffer from a broken home situation because yeah. of your it's... selfishness and your irresponsibility and your manipulation of power. The second part of the statement reads, I was young and very easily influenced. I have to say, I'm glad he's out of the band. A lot of people, including myself, see concerts as a safe space. To have a man whose profession requires him to be around young, impressionable kids constantly with nothing but cruel intentions is flat out dangerous. I'm extremely proud of every single person who has finally spoken up about their experience with Kenny. There needs to be a, there seems to be a constant trend of band members abusing their power to prey on young girls and it makes me sick. I'm glad this situation was addressed and handled. I'm proud to hear that Kenny is no longer with the band. Everyone deserves to feel safe. I guess we'll leave the question to you guys. What do you think about the whole situation? Let us know in the comments section down below. Obviously, I'm sure the majority of us are very disappointed in uh, Kenny finding out everything like that, but probably happy to hear about the band's swift actions. As always, I'm one of those people that's like, if you cut off the offending member, that's the problem right there. Right. And keep soldiering on and doing whatever you're doing. He wasn't even an official member. I don't yeah. think he ever had a writing credit with the band or performed on the albums. It wasn't like a Dallin Weeks or anything like that. So anyways, 
Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Uh, obviously, if you want to check out all of the Twitter thread, I will put that linked in the description down below, along with anything else you could possibly want to find, including Hannah's channel. Other than that, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you very soon for more on Beyond ARTV.